So let's look at the opposite situation. If the Fed buys treasury securities, what happens to the money supply and the equilibrium interest rate? Graph your response here. <coughs> so you want to draw a nice big graph here and call this the quantity of money. And you want to call this the interest rate here. So you have the money demand, MD here, and you also have the money supply. It's called MD1 here and MS1 here. And this is the equilibrium interest rate here, R1 here. And then this is quantity of money, Q, uh, Q1 right here. So if the Fed buys government securities, uh, try to recall what happens. Well, in the previous slide, we went over previous example. When the Fed sells government securities, it shrinks the money supply. Well, if the Fed buys government securities, it bloats, okay, or it, it increases the money supply. So the money supply is going to shift to the right here. Okay, this vertical line, you're going to shift it, MS2 here, and you're going to have the interest rates go down from R1 to R2. So R decreases. So that makes sense. If there's more money available, then you know the interest rates are gonna are gonna theoretically go down here. So Q2 here. Um, so an increase in money supply when the Fed buys government securities, the money supply curve shifts to the right and lowers the equilibrium interest rate. And so again, for your you know to be able to fully understand what's going on, when the Fed buys uh, government securities or bonds, another way of saying it is buying bonds or government securities, uh, the money supply curve shifts right. Okay. Or there's an increase in money supply. What are the other ways? If the Fed decreases the required reserve ratio, okay, the money supply would, would shift to the right. Or if the Fed lowers discount rate, what that's going to do is that's going to shift the money supply curve to the right. And again, as I mentioned before, you can look at this as 4, or you can look at this as 1B. If the Fed lowers uh, the target Fed funds rate. So what's going to happen is if the the Fed lowers the target federal funds rate, then they're going to tell the Fed, uh, the, the New York Fed, to actually sell government securities to get that federal funds rate uh, uh, higher. So the Fed actually sets the target federal funds rate by either buying or selling government securities. Again, um, maybe a little bit more in-depth than, than what's required to get the point. For example, if you, uh, if you just say that the Federal Reserve lowers or raises the federal funds rate rather than the target federal funds rate, um, you, you're not going to you're not going to get marked off. But again, it's good to know uh, exactly, you know, how this monetary policy works, whether or not you give too much information or too little information. Um, you want to know the right way of doing it. Thank you for watching.